Welcome, let's understand four important types of employment. We talk about the direct and the indirect employment. We talk about the seasonal employment and the disguised employment. So let's understand what are these. So let's first talk about disguised unemployment. What it actually means. Let's say there is a farm. On that farm, there are two people who are actually working, but that farm is sustaining five people. So what happens is all the five people feel that in one way or the other, they are contributing to that farm, but actual requirement is only two persons. So three persons out of those five would be a kind of disguised unemployment. So they are actually not required onto the farm, but they are part of it. So that's a kind of disguised or hidden employment or hidden unemployment that we see. On the other hand, we have seasonal employment. Seasonal employment, what does it mean? Let's say uh, it's well understood with a kind of agricultural perspective. So you have the sowing and the harvesting season. So you require a large workforce during the sowing and the harvesting season. However, on the other lean months, you do not require that workforce. So you are providing employment opportunities, but in a specific seasons or in a specific duration. And that's what is known as seasonal employment. So that's the basic difference between a disguised unemployment and a seasonal unemployment. On the other hand, let's talk about direct and indirect employment opportunities. So let's say you have a steel plant that's run by the government. This steel plant is directly requiring people and is hiring. So all the people who are working with that steel unit, with that government system, uh, would be the part of direct employment. However, this steel company is supplying its output to various private units. Now, whatever private units are being served by this government bigger unit would further employ a few people a few people so what would happen is the employment of the people in those private sector here would be the part of a indirect employment because the direct employment was provided by the government unit and this is a indirect employment given to the people who are being recruited in the private company which is working in line with the government main unit or the main steel company so that's a kind of example that we can help understand the differences we'll be coming up with more small topics for your economics understanding the concepts so stay tuned have a great day ahead